वेलकम अगेन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस प्रोबेबिलिटी इज नथिंग बट एन अकरेंस ऑफ द इवेंट बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी वी मे हैव अ क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाट वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग बट इफ वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग समथिंग डेफिनेटली वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग समथिंग आउट ऑफ पर्टिकुलर स्पेस रीजन टाइम Uh, number of possibilities. If we toss a coin, obviously there are two possibilities: head and tail. So head and tail are called as the space out of which we are expecting something. If we toss a dice, the space is any number which can appear over the over it: one, two, three, four, five, six. So one to six are the number set of values considered as space. if you we are expecting what is the probability that one will appear then it is 1 by 6 because the possibility of success is one out of six possible events if we expect what is the probability that only an even number will appear so there are three possibilities either 2 or 4 or 6 so the event will be a set of 2 4 and 6 so possibility will be 1 by 2 because 1 by 6 1 by 6 1 by 6 so anything may appear out of these three possibilities we consider it an even number so that is what we call probability space and event so these are three parameters which are important to calculate the probability one is event that depends upon your definition of success then space all possible outcomes and the ratio is definitely a probability now look at this these are three space categories are shown here one is if you toss a coin there are two possibilities head or tail and if you toss a dice the possibility is either 1 or 2 or 3 or 5 or 6 so there are six possibilities there there is a probability success of getting head is nothing but 1 by 2 and success of getting one is 1 by 6 here but if you toss two coins the possibility that the first may have head or the second may have head or the first may have head or the second will appear tail so there are four possible combinations which will be considered as the elements of a particular space in this particular sense so the first thing here we will get head the possibilities are either this or this or this we will get tail possibilities are this this or this at least one head or one tail so this is a sample space which is important to understand the concept of probability so any event event is a subset of the space now see another example this is a slightly complex uh, experiment an experiment consists of flipping a coin and then looking at it before going for the second time we have to see if head appears we will toss a coin again but in case tails appear we will toss a dice you see here so there are two outcomes in this experiment so there are two outcomes in this experiment one is either head or tail and the second is if is dependent upon the first outcome so now in this case sample space has eight possible outcomes this is the found final outcome of the experiment and the possibilities are head 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 and tail tail and one 
tail end 2 and so on. So the sample space is nothing but set of values h, h comma ht comma t1 comma t2 comma t3 comma t4 comma t5 t6. Now in this what is the probability of occurrence of t2 is probability of getting t2 is nothing but 1 by 8. That is what we call probability of occurrence. So this was the basic concept about probability of occurrence. So now event sample space we can summarize in these points here. Uh, an event is a subset of sample space. Second is The complement of an event A with respect to S is the subset of all the elements of S that are not in A. We denote the complement of A by symbol A dash. We consider a sample space as S and event as A. So whatever is outside A is considered as complement of A. The interaction of two events A or B denoted by the symbol um, denoted by the symbol A and B is the event containing all the elements that are common to A and B. For example, this is a sample space where there are two events A and B. So A and B are nothing but the common elements all elements that are common to a and b and if two events are mutually exclusive for example one event will occur but other may not occur at the same moment so in that case the interaction of a and b will be null event because there is no common event in A and B. The union of two events denoted by the symbol this is giving a condition of either A will occur or B will occur. Any event of any element of A or B may occur. So in that case it is considered as the sum of all the possibilities which are common to A and B. So in this case you have to subtract that the interaction but in this case you have need not to subtract the interaction because interaction is nothing but a zero value which is already given over here so this was the basic definition of the event now another example of event and sample space is the combination of three events a b and c when we see here Three events are A. A has the possibilities 1, 2, 4 and 7. B has the possibilities 1, 2, 3 and 6. C has possibilities 1, 3, 4, 5. So these are three events. What is common in all is nothing but one. So therefore A intersection B intersection C is equal to one. B intersection C is nothing but one and three. A intersection B is one and two. A intersection C is one and four. A union B union C will be A union B union C means anything which may occur out of A, B, C 
is nothing but the total sample is page 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is nothing but A or B, C minus A and B minus B and C minus A and C minus 2 A and B and C. That will give us this sample space. So there are two important parameters uh, plays significant role in defining sample space. One is called permutation, the other is called combination. Permutation is an arrangement of all or parts of a set of objects. If suppose you have to take out There are two important parameters which play a significant role in defining the sample space. One is called permutation and the other is called combination. Permutation is an arrangement of all or part of a set of objects. For example, you have to take out R elements out of a set of N elements and the order of selection counts here in determining these arrangements. So how many arrangements will be possible? That we call NPR. So if suppose we have a sample space having four elements A, B, C and D and we have to make take out two. So this will be factorial 4 divided by factorial 4 minus 2 that will be factorial 4 upon factorial 2 that is nothing but 4 multiplied by 3 equal to 12 possibilities. So there must be 12 combination. Let's see here. First AB comma BA AC comma CA then AD comma DA comma BC comma CD then CD comma uh, sorry BD comma DB comma CD comma DC so these are 14 combinations uh, we can see here We can see 14 combinations, the, sorry, 12 combinations and this 12 is over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this was all about permutations. But if the replacement is possible, so the as number of replacement is possible is nothing but factorial r. So we have to divide permutation by factorial r and we can get what is called as combination. So in combination, you can see the formula is permutation NPR divided by factorial R. The combination of R, R elements from a set of n elements is the number of arrangements that can be made by selecting r elements out of n elements without replacement. The order of selection in this case does not count in determining these arrangements. So order of selection does not count. One arrangement differs from another only if the contents of the arrangement are different. So if out of 10, out of 4 you have to make 2, then it will be 4C2, that is factorial 4 upon factorial 2, then factorial 4 minus 2. That will come as 
this will be four three two one divided by two one then two one so it is nothing but three two one six combinations are possible let's take examples in one year, three awards will be given to a class of 25 graduate students in a statistics department. If each student can receive at most one award, how many possible selections are there? In this case, since the award is distinguishable, it is a permutation problem. So problem is of Now in this case, since the awards are distinguishable, then it's a problem of permutation and permutation 25 out of sorry 3 out of 25 that will be nothing but factorial 25 divided by factorial 25 minus 3 that comes out to be 25 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 23 because then 22 will be cancelled out down there if you multiply all this you are going to have 1 3 800 zero, zero permutations arrangements possible to give the award. Take another example. A city council of 10 members have decided to elect three officers chair, vice chair, and secretary, and a committee of three members. In case of the officers, any one person cannot hold more than one position of the chair. The number of possible cases of three officers without replacement from 10 council members can be computed using the permutation. Because there is without replacement and one cannot hold more than one position. So in this case, what will be the permutations possible? 10 P 3 and that is 10 on 10 minus 3 that is 10 9 8 comes about 720 possible combinations of the officers of the chair. Now for the members Committee members, the number of possible cases three committee members without replacement from 10 council members can be computed using combinations. So it will be nothing but 10 C3 factorial 10 upon factorial 3 then 10 minus 3 will be equal to 10 9 8 divided by 3 2 1. So that is 3, 4 will be 120 possible combination of the committee members. So 720 possible combinations of the council members and 120 possible combinations of the committee members.